he's a boy. Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Do you know what brings us here tonight? Honor. Please, my son. Stay out of trouble. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. You may take our lives this day, but we will have your return, I swear! We will! I understand your desire for vengeance, but the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. I'll kill you for what you've done! You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. We must walk the streets freely, seen but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us and become one with the city's crowds. You can swing a sword to be sure. Kill them! Kill them all! But offense alone will not carry a battle. You will survive long enough to strike. It's finished. What's finished? The blade. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. The assassin. The same one who hunted down the Pazzi. He could be anywhere. He could be here right now and we might not even know. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. How nice to finally meet after hearing so much. How do you expect to succeed where the rest of us have failed? I have my ways. How many men are responsible for my father's death? I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Nor I. It is time, uncle. Let us finish what you and my father started all those years ago. Go, my son. Destroy them. But remember for whom we assassins fight. There will be no peace until we rise up against the entire Borgia family and the Templars who serve them. Kill him. Kill him! Kill the assassin! The Auditori are not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditori! Thinking it's best for us. Do we not, Messer Ezio? I do this not for myself. I admire you, Ezio, but your bloodlust makes it hard to call you a friend. Oh, is the fight. Just like your father. Why is it wherever you go, trouble falls? I bet you think of doing great things, charging around, killing whomever you wish. Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? Do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not fiery. Do not become him. Tidia le pace che cercave. Requiesca. Requiesca, ti pace. It's been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. Throw down your arms, Cesare Borgia. It's finished, Rodrigo. So close to the end now, but... Closer to understanding what any of it was for. Get it over with. No. Killing you won't bring my family back. You may not see it, Ezio, but it's better here now because of the things you've done. Help save our city, Auditore. Silencio! Twenty-two years ago, I stood where I stand now. Watched my loved ones die. Betrayed by those I had called friends. Vengeance clouded my mind, would have consumed me, were it not for the wisdom of a few strangers, who taught me to look past my instincts. They never preached answers, but guided me to learn from myself. We don't need anyone to tell us what to do. We are free to follow our own path. There are those who will take that freedom from us. Too many of you gladly give it. In time, however, I learned that those who inspire fear have more devoted followers than those who preach love. But it is our ability to choose whatever you think is true. 
that makes us human. There is no book or teacher to give you the answers, to show you the path. Choose your own way. The throne was mine. Wanting something does not make it your right. What do you know? That a true leader empowers the people he rules. What are you all doing here? Perhaps the same thing you are, Ezio. Hoping to see the Prophet appear. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? He never showed up, no? But you did. What? A Prophet's arrival was foretold. And unbeknownst to us, here you are. Perhaps all along, you were the one we sought. Greetings, Prophet. It is good you have come. We have all been guiding you for years, teaching you the skills you would need to join our ranks. I think it's time. To win this war, Machiavelli, we need loyal soldiers. By recruiting enemies of the state, we arm those who have been disarmed by the Borgia. The liberation of Roma has begun. If you choose to flee, do so now. But if you choose to fight, stand with me against the Borgia. You are the man I long to meet, renowned master and mentor. It's your auditori. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember, nothing is true. Where other men are limited by morality or law, remember, everything is permitted. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Nothing is true. Everything is you and I have not seen eye to eye on many issues. But you are exactly what the Order needed. You have led the charge against the Templars and rebuilt this brotherhood. Now we must put Ezio where he belongs. At the head of the Assassin. Insieme per la Victoria! Victoria agli Assassini! You are the leader of the Assassins now. Unite them, Ezio Auditore. Brothers! Sisters, fight with me, and show him what it means to cross the assassins. Love binds our order together. Love of people, of cultures, of the world. Fight to preserve that which inspires hope, and you will win back your people. The more we learn about the world, the less we seem to know. It is a joy to see someone with a passion so personal and noble. It is inspiring. Requiescat in pace, Altair. I am once again in your debt, Ezio. What debt is there amongst friends who trust one another? I wanted to thank you for letting me play a small role in your adventure. Hang on, Sophia! A small role is enough for this adventure, believe me. So what now, Ezio? How does this end? I am wondering that myself. It is a good life we lead, brother. The best will never change. And may it never change us. The life of an assassin is pain. You suffer it, you inflict it, you watch it happen with the hope that you can help it disappear in time. <laughs> a terrible irony. Ja. To say that nothing is true is to realize that the foundations of society are fragile and that we must be the shepherds of our own civilization. To say that everything is permitted is to understand that we are the architects of our actions and that we must live with their consequences. Whether glorious or tragic. Do you regret your decision to live as an assassin for so long? I do not remember making that decision. This life, it chose me. For three decades, I have served the memory of my father and my brothers. Go! And fought for those who have suffered the pain of injustice. Not the grazie, Messie. Thank you. I do not regret those years, but it is time to live for myself and let them go. Let go of all of this. I heard your name once before, Desmond. A long time ago. Who is Desmond? I don't understand. Please, wait. I have so many questions. 
And now it lingers in my mind, like an image from an old dream. I do not know where you are, or by what means you can hear me. But I know you are listening. I have lived my life as best I could, not knowing its purpose, but drawn forward like a moth to a distant moon. And here at last, I discover a strange truth. That I am only a conduit for a message that eludes my understanding. Who are we who have been so blessed to share our stories like this, to speak across centuries? When I was a young man, I had liberty did not see it. I had time, but I did not know it. And I had love, but I did not feel it. Many decades would pass before I understood the meaning of all three. And now, the twilight of my life, this understanding has passed into containment. Love, liberty, and time. Once so disposable, are the fuels that drive me forward. And love, most especially, mio caro. For you, our children, our brothers and sisters, and for the vast and wonderful world that gave us life and keeps us guessing. Endless affection, mio Sofia. Forever yours, Ezio Auditore.